The national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Adams Oshomale, has come under fire as some members of the National Executive Committee of the party are demanding for his immediate resignation. Speaking to newsmen after the NEC meeting yesterday in Abuja, the chairman of the Zamfara APC chapter, Honorable Lawa Liman, who spoke on behalf of the group comprised of dissatisfied NEC members across the country, says Oshomale has refused to allow internal democracy to thrive in the party, thereby eroding the gains made by the APC in the last few years. The chairman of the APC chapter is demanding that Oshomale resigns with immediate effect in the interest of the party to pave way for genuine reconciliation among party faithful. Most of the goodwill acquired by the party by reasons of its religious adherence to the prohibitions of its constitution and the tenant of internal democratic practices has taken down turn, principally due to the dictatorial and despotic tendencies of the national chairman, Comrade Adams Ali Oshomole, who have absorbed the powers of the National Executive Committee of the party. This may have been responsible for the admonition of President Muhammad Buhari, who insisted that the party organs at the state, local government, and ward levels must be strengthened and accorded due respect with regard to the powers and responsibilities conferred on them by the constitution of the party. Most unfortunately, the fight conducted by the national chairman today, the 22nd of November 2019, as, in, the, as a national executive committee meeting, leaves much to be desired. He completely ignored Mr. President's advice and rather defied all known rules of, for meeting by precluding contributions from members and ending the meeting abruptly without achieving anything. This is most unfortunate and undesirable. Gentlemen of the press, rather for the foregoing and having regard to the huge responsibilities bestowed on us as the officers of the party and the overriding interests of our members, we are left with no option but to demand that Comrade Aliu Adam Oshomole resigns his position as the national chairman in order to steam the slide and provide an enabling environment for genuine healing, reconciliation, and the practice of true democracy within the party across the country. Joining us live is Plus TV Africa, Abuja Bureau Chief and Head of Northern Operations, Amadin Uye. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Now, let me ask you this. What was the mood like yesterday at the meeting? And what do you think the party will do now? Now, I, I know that uh, before the uh, National Executive Committee uh, meeting started, uh, there was a, a protest at the APC headquarters by uh, some dissatisfied members. Now, that was before the arrival of President Mohamed Buhari. Now, some of us had thought that it would affect uh, the, com the committee meeting because remember that uh, there had been so much tension in the party also resulting from uh, the happenings in Edo State where some members also are demanding that uh, Mr. Adam Soshomole is interfering with the affairs of the party. But when Mr. President came up to the committee meeting and gave his speech, it was clear that uh, President Mohamed Bouhari was fully in support of the national chairman because he made it very he made it very clear in his brief remark when he warned party members that for those who would subvert the will of the party in their own personal interest, he said that. Uh, history and posterity would not for, forgive them. Remember before the 2019 general elections, uh, there were issues with some states, states like Ogu, Imo, Bauchi, Zamfara, and some other states uh, where even uh, in, in rivers, Zamfara and Imo, uh, rivers, the APC could not field any candidate because of the Supreme Court ruling in Zamfara and Imo State. Imo State, they lost out because the former governor wanted his candidate. So it was very clear that the president needed to make a statement so that people would know where he stood on these issues. But he made it very clear during the next meeting yesterday, and it was very evident that he was in support of, support of Mr. Adams Oshomole. 
Now, this is not the first time party members are calling for Shomale's resignation. Now, what do you think will be the difference this time around? Now, when issues like this happen, if we go back to history, remember when the PDP was the dominant party, they had consistently faced this kind of uh, issues. Now the APC is on board, it has continued. And also because of the nature of the politics we do where uh, there is no uh, party philosophy, only strong men bringing issues to the table. So, some of us were thinking that uh, just like a rolling moss that gathers dust, that with time. But uh, when we spoke to the governor of Cardona State, uh, Nasil El Rufai, he said that the party was not considering that and that instead the party was thinking of reconciliation, which would only be the committee would be formed by the president, saying that uh, the APC as a national party, uh, the APC would would have that it's a normal issue and that everybody will be given opportunity to express themselves. So for now, until uh, the president, who is the leader of the party, until his body language changes, I don't think Mr. Oshomole is in any danger of losing his seat. Just one last question before I let you go. Do you think indeed Oshomale's resignation will pave way for genuine re reconciliation among party faithful that's been clamored for? As long as the APC continues to be a party where different vested interests brought their own part to the table, these issues will not end. Until if the party wants to go ahead and say, we must have genuine reconciliation. The truth is, after reconciliation, most of the strong politicians who control different catchment areas, will they sub submit their will to the party? That is a big question. So whether Adam Soshomole goes or not, remember that these same issues cropped up uh, during the time of the former party chairman, John Ojige Oyegu, and, it is, and the issue has remained. So I don't think the issue is going to uh, go away anytime soon because it, for Nigerian politics, strong men will continue to control strong areas until there is ideal party philosophy. That is only when these kind of issues will stop because by that time, everybody will sub submit their will and vested interest to the interest of the party. All right, thank you very much, Amadin Uyi.